Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, October 11th. Thank you for joining. Let's begin with prayer. Father God, we praise your name and we give all the glory to you. And we are thankful for this opportunity to spend time in prayer, to spend time in your word. We pray, Father God, for an open heart, open ears, and an open mind as we listen for the message that you have for each and every one of us. We love you, Father God, and we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. We are in Proverbs 6, 20 through 35. And one of the titles of these particular passages is God's Words are a Sure Guide. And it's also encouraging us to remember and keep God's commands. My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them always on your heart. Fasten them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. For this command is a lamp. This teaching is a light. And correction and instruction are the way to life. Keeping you from your neighbor's wife, from the smooth talk of a wayward woman. Do not lust in your heart after her beauty, or let her captivate you with her eyes. For a prostitute can be had for a loaf of bread, but another man's wife preys on your very life. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So is he who sleeps with another man's wife. No one who touches her will go unpunished. People do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his hunger when he is starving. Yet if he is caught, he must pay sevenfold, though it cost him all the wealth of his house. But a man who commits adultery has no sense. Whoever does so destroys himself. Blows and disgrace are his lot, and his shame will never be wiped away. For jealousy arouses a husband's fury, and he will show no mercy when he takes revenge. He will not accept any compensation. He will refuse a bribe, however great it is. These particular passages are reminding us that we need to know God's word. We need to maintain a relationship with him so we recognize the difference between good and evil. We know God's word is a light to our soul and it keeps us from walking in darkness. It keeps us on the right path. His commands are a lamp. His teaching is a light. 22 says, when you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. These passages highly in discourage adultery and speak of the consequences of getting caught up. Sin continually tries to entice us. The devil is always looking for a way in. Let us run to God when temptation is knocking, when we are feeling weak. God wants us to run to him continually. It doesn't matter how often. He wants us to run to him continually. 24-7, he wants us to run to him. So run to him when you're struggling with potential sin. Run to him when you are struggling with sin. And run to him in repentance when you have sinned. We all know that we sin continually. So because we continually sin, we need to continually run to God in repentance. The gratification of our sin is is short-lived but the shame and the suffering that follow last it plays on our hearts when we recognize our weak moments but we can have a peace when we go to god in repentance god provides forgiveness and cleansing a reminder that god just wants us to come to him don't be ashamed or embarrassed of any sin that you have committed God's heart hurt at all. And he actually knows what we did. He just wants us to come to him and, and repent of it. He wants us to have a relationship with him. He doesn't want us to run away from him when we sin. He wants us to run to him when we sin. We are reminded that God sent his son to take our sin and punishment so that no matter how far we fall short of God's standards, in Christ, nothing can separate us from his love remember that God loved us first and he continues to love us in spite of 
our weaknesses and we all have weak moments. We all have weak moments and we may not know others that also have weak moments. Talk to them, pray with them, pray for them. Encourage them by your words, by your prayer and by your actions. Be reminded that we are to be the light and the salt of the earth. Let's pray. Father God, we pray that each and every one of us do recognize our sin and come to you in repentance. We pray, Father God, that we look out for those who are sinning. We pray, Father God, that we pray for them, that we pray with them, that we encourage them with our actions, Father God, so that each and every one of us can have the peace and comfort that only you provide, so that each and every one of us can spend eternity with you. We love you, Father God, and we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Have a week filled with blessings. Be a blessing. Bye-bye.